The demand for an increasing resolution of light fields will require to record billions of rays that quickly cause gigabytes rather than megabytes of data that has to be processed and rendered in real time with limited graphics memory. We present the caching framework with a novel probability-based prefetching strategy that enables the interactive rendering of gigaray light fields. Besides the direct rendering of gigaray light fields that, for instance, are recorded with high-resolution cameras used for camera arrays or with mechanical camera gantries, we describe two new applications that are enabled by our framework. First, we present the first and robust approach towards the construction and rendering of panoramic light fields. These are large field-of-view gigaway light fields computed from overlapping lower-resolution sub-light field recordings. Real-time rendering of such large panoramic light fields is made possible with our light field caching framework. Second, we integrate our light field caching into a volume renderer to support high-quality rendering of large volumetric datasets at interactive rates. New images are composed from high-resolution light field rendering and from volume rendering depending on the state of the light field cache. Smaller light fields fit entirely into the graphics memory and no caching is required, but their resolution is limited. For larger light fields, we have developed a CUDA-based light field renderer that is extended by a software-managed cache. In a pre-processing step, the light field data is split into pages of pixel blocks that are managed by the cache. Without caching, the light field pages that are required at a frame have to be uploaded into the graphics memory before rendering. If we constrain the upload time for this on-demand loading to achieve a minimal target frame rate of 25 frames per second, not all required pages can be uploaded in time. The red color indicates the areas where light field data is missing. The amount of visual degradation caused by page faults is plotted in the graph. Any caching strategy will improve this situation by reusing existing pages from the cache. Prediction models have already been used for determining the set of light field perspective images required for rendering or for streaming. However, caching entire images is inefficient for large light fields. LRU replaces smaller cache units, so called pages, that have been used least recently if no free cache slots are available. This reduces the visual image degradation efficiently. Our approach manages atomic pages and supports a novel probability-based prefetching strategy that combines that reckoning and heuristic parameter variations. Both optimizes caching and data transfer from main memory to graphics memory and generally outperforms LIU as well as prediction strategies previously applied to light fields. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. This example shows a light field that was rendered with a conventional two-plane parameterization. Our light field caching framework further supports a spherical and a new panoramic parameterization for light fields, while our caching strategies remain the same. Beside the panoramic parameterization for rendering, we present the first approach towards the construction of panoramic light fields. We capture overlapping sublight fields of a scene during a circular motion of a mobile light field camera and convert each sublight field into a focal stack using synthetic aperture reconstruction. Next, we compute an all in focus image for each focal stack by extracting and composing the highest frequency image content throughout all focal stack slices. The registration and blending parameters are then computed for the resulting overlapping all in focus images. For this, we apply conventional panorama stitching techniques, such as surf feature extraction, pairwise feature matching and ransack outlier detection, bundle adjustment, wave correction, exposure compensation and the computation of blending seams. The registration and blending parameters that were derived for the all-in-focus images are now applied to all corresponding slices of the focal stacks. We use a four-dimensional motion model for registration and multiband blending for composition. The result is a registered and seamlessly blended panorama focal stack that can be converted to a light field with linear view synthesis. Since we chose an intermediate focal stack representation, common image panorama techniques can be applied for robustly computing a panorama light field without a precise reconstruction of scene depth. 
However, the focal stack of a scene covers no more than a 3D subset of the full 4D light field. This limits our current approach to Lambertian scenes with modest depth discontinuities. Real-time rendering of such large panoramic light fields is made possible by our light field caching framework. Advances in imaging technology lead to a continuous increase of image datasets. Modern scanning microscopes, for instance, produce image stacks with a megapixel lateral resolution with possibly many hundreds to thousand slices in axial direction. This trend will continue, resulting in very large volumetric datasets that are difficult to explore interactively. The illustrated example shows the performance of a volume renderer for such a dataset. Rendering the data with a lower sampling rate allows the volume renderer to present a fast preview. Although this enables an interactive exploration, important details are no longer visible during navigation. Light field rendering is a fast and simple image-based rendering method that requires pre-computed or pre-captured image data. For volume rendering, each costly computed image is discarded after changing the viewing parameters, while it becomes idle if the viewing parameters are not changed and the visualization does not need to be updated. We combine light field rendering and volume rendering to enable the interactive exploration of large volumetric datasets at a high quality. We use the idle times of the volume renderer for filling our light field cache. The final images are then composed from both, light field rendering and volume rendering, depending on the state of the light field cache. Our method leads to a better image quality compared to the low level of detail representations that can be achieved by a volume renderer at the same frame rate. For light field rendering, we support the spherical parameterization to enable surround navigation. Beside the high resolution light field cache, a lower resolution fallback light field is created that fits entirely into the remaining graphics memory. It is used when a high resolution light field page is not available during rendering. In addition, we integrate the volume renderer's fast preview mode. The final image is then assembled from the pixels of the sources that have the highest level of detail per pixel. The different contributions are color coded in a presented example. The visualization at the top illustrates the current fill state of the cache in spherical coordinates. We make three contributions. First, we describe a caching framework that enables the real time rendering of gigaway light fields. Second, we present the construction and rendering of the first panoramic light fields. And third, we show how cache managed light field rendering can complement volume rendering. 